Hi, well, welcome back, everybody. Um, so, what we're going to do? I am going to show you how to make a Disney face mask. Well, actually, I'm making Disney and Marvel. Um, so I have got this really good uh, Mickey one, and then I've got this. I'm literally about to cut out the pattern. I've got the Spider-Man one now. The Mickey one I actually bought off um, eBay, and the. Um, Marvel one was an old duvet, which actually was donated by my fabulous sister-in-law and brother. So love your loads, just try and find my pins. So what you're gonna need is you're gonna need a template. Now this is, as it happens, if I remember rightly, it's 21 centimeters times 21 centimeters. So it's a total square. So if you've got one of these little cutting boards, which my daughter has used to also paint on, um, then it's all good to go. You can use that as a like a little, reminder or you can just get your good old shatterproof ruler out and then draw around it or chalk around it whatever you want to do now originally this um pattern i think i got from angerisa who's also on youtube so but this is how a complete and utter utter beginner does it so i've literally i've had this machine actually for 19 years I got given it, it was actually my paternal my grandmother-in-law's um, and she, um, she, not my, yeah, my husband's grandma and when she died then I got her machine. So I'm just going to cut this out and then I'll get right back to you. Oops, I'm just getting rid of my scraps. I've also got a box of um, a box for my scraps and my threads and all the rest of it. So I'm doing this on a new home super automatic. So it must be forever old. Um, it came with all the all the gizmos because it was being used um, before the lucky Joyce got poorly, I think. Um, and it, but I have had to add a few bits and pieces. So what I've added is I've added these material scissors. I've also got a daisy wheel cutter, but. To be frank, I think I might be a little bit, what's the word? I don't know, the opposite of dainty for using that. So um, these were a lot better for me. And they're, they're not to cut paper because that just blunts everything. So all the other scissors in my house are blunt, so that's why I had to buy them. I bought this cutting board. The material which I got off eBay, I got as a fat quarter. I'm just thinking I've got that on it. Do I need it? will be hemming it and it will have an outside I don't particularly want that left on the outside do I well I have actually as you can see left a bit of a hem there so what I'm going to do is this um this pattern does have hems in it so I'm just going to put that down I haven't realized see this is what happens when you have a beginner doing sewing so, yeah that's a beginning utter beginner so is that better me uh, kind of also if you can now squeeze on something over. There's sneaky people in the kitchen. Yes I can. It's actually bedtime for my little ones and they are not in bed, they are in the kitchen. Sneaky midnight so I think we'll let them be though, huh? Right, so I've got rid of that Mickey sign there. So I'm hoping that I do it the right way up and everything. So you actually prepare two pieces of material at once. I'm going to take this template off now. Keep that for after. So the pins are a goner. Yes, I can hear rustling. Mr. Beaumont, I can hear you. <laughs> have fun, get some supper. And then you're going to have to brush your teeth again. Okay, so what else we're going to need? We're going to need some um, elastic. So I do this at 17 centimetres. So let's do that. There's one. There's two. I think I got this elastic off eBay. But be careful because the first time I got elastic off eBay, I thought, oh, that's cheap. And then about this much elastic arrived. So um, I was doing these for friends and family. So I have made in between 10 masks already. I don't think that by any means makes me proficient, can I point out. So we've got two elastics, 
we've got two squares we're also going to need oh where's my elastic gone hang on there it is we're also going to need quite a lot of ironing so you're going to see a lot of my ironing as well so the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to create a little hem so hang on while i get the shine down on here right so the hem goes from what i can tell at the top the material so we're going to do two hems and I've got these funky little clips which are like little pegs and I got those off there uh, I don't know I think I got them off either could have been Amazon I'm not quite sure so I'm gonna put that down there and then it's already time to throw the iron on and iron the hem now, because I am that way inclined, I do proper love the idea of um, using a bit of Wonderweb, but I'm not sure how that would wash again and again, so I didn't. I didn't cheat, honest governor. I'm just going to take that piece of paper out. I don't need to do that piece of paper in your mask. So this mask does come with a little filter as well. Folding and all the rest of it. I think we can honestly say it's just not very good. I think in school, even I just made a penny, so that's my little hem there. So I'm just going to do the other one. So, this is going to be kind of real time this video. Now, everybody says on the video, it only takes five minutes. Um, I've been at this machine since seven o'clock, and this is mask number four and it is now nearly 10. So actually it takes me a mask an hour because I'm always like losing my thread and all that kind of thing. Um, so I must have re re-threaded my machine 20 times. <laughs> um, but it's still quite therapeutic and it's still enjoyable. So I quite like it. It's not, a, it's not onerous. You're hardly breathless after doing it. <laughs> so. Alright. Right, so we're just gonna heat up the iron. Okay, and then we'll be back. Okay, so here we go. So this thing is apparently called the foot. See, I've been watching YouTube videos. And then whenever you start, now I found it because I'm a complete beginner. Why is that doing that? I found it easier do the first few stitches by hand because then you, you do backward stitches as well. There's something wrong with this already I can tell. It just doesn't feel right. And what I've done, let's try and go reverse. Oh it makes a flipping awful noise when you do actually do it really wrong. And as soon as the shops are fully back open this machine's off for a decent service. See if we can keep this nice and neat. Now, you might not be very impressed. I tell you, I've been 
you've never seen such stress in getting a straight line out of a sewing machine. I don't think I've been to university, would you? Right, okay, so the next bit is another ironing bit. Now, as far as I know, it goes, you, you iron it in half, like that. Where's the other bit? You iron this one in half. And then you do some fancy folding, okay? Right, so back in the laundry room, of course, all these posh people on YouTube have their iron by their machine. I don't, I have my iron in the ironing room. <laughs> right, so that's in half, and I think the next fold comes in this time. I think it goes down and then back up. I'll, I'll just check and then I'll come back to you. So here's the folding for the easily confused. So you've got them in half like this with the stitch top at there. So what's that thread doing there? That's not good. That's just simply see that. Not in the waste box. So what you do then is you fold it back down like this and you are going to turn it over. Okay. You're only going to turn it over one centimetre. Now where's that one centimetre piece of paper? So you get your one centimetre piece of paper and you just line it up and that will make sure that your fold is right okay and you are going to also do that with this side so i've done that the wrong way around right okay so let's try again so go to your fold keep your the sewn bit on the on the back and then down you've got a centimetre yet because otherwise you're going to have to fold it the wrong way around. Like I said, it's like mask making for the easily confused and I would be the one who is easily confused. Right, so I'm just going to put a little, I feel some more ironing come on, do you? I do, I feel some more ironing coming on. When you turn it over, it looks like that. Um, and I'm going to do the same with this. So keeping the stitch side with the back down on the floor, so to speak, on the back. You take the unstitched side as if you were going to turn it in half again, but you are going to take it down by a centimetre. That should be right because I've got it on my mats, but what we're going to do is we're going to Pop a little peg there and then slide it, turn it over and then I'm going to check with my measure. My measure, <laughs> my one centimetre piece of paper. Yeah, that seems all right. I'm going to put that the same way up and then I think it's time for an iron again. Yeah, so your material now should be looking like this. Put the seamed line at the bottom. So the seamed line comes up and it goes right up to the top of the material. Okay, I'm just going to score that with my hand because it's just 100% cotton. And then that's done. Right, okay. So you can go back, you can iron it if you want to. I'm going to choose not to because it's like literally still warm from the iron. Okay, so it's time to get on to the next stage now. Um, so once you've done that iron, you're going to start to do the, the tricky fold now, which is where you take the middle bit. So what you've done is you've created a middle fold here. So this is the middle fold. So if I take this off, so this bit here, this is your middle fold. So when you unfold it again, you have this little one that sticks up like this. And what you do is you stick your finger in there and give it a wiggle. And you take that crease and the two sides stick together and that crease goes on top there. make sure the material meets underneath and then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to use my pegs to pin that into place so you have 
all the material meeting at this central point here. So if I show you by turning this over here, you can see that all the material has met. So I'm going to do that again with the spindy. That last iron that we did provides a nice little crease. Like my dad's trousers, he still keeps a crease in his trousers, bless him. And there we go. And I think that is the trickiest bit, to be fair. There's a couple of other tricky bits coming up, like getting the elastics in, but it's not too bad. And I think I've tried all different types of masks, and this is one of the easiest ones. I like the duck face one as well, which I might put on next week if you're very, very lucky. Right, so I'm off to iron that now. Right, so here we are in the laundry room. Once that is ironed into place, what I'm going to do is just iron these up together. Because they are going to go back to back. One is slightly smaller than the other one. This is a surprise because it's actually the Spider-Man that is smaller than the Mickey. But it will all come together in the end. So I'm just going to pin that so it sticks together for me. So it now looks like this. Right. So now we've got it looking like this. We're going to go back to the machine and do the next stage. So honestly, we're on the last straight now. I'm just going to iron this so that all the folds stick in the right place and then it's a case of swing around oh you fell over where did you go what are you doing falling over what do you think you're doing there we go not too shabby considering 10 minutes ago this was two separate bits of material Okay, so now I'm just going to mark where I'm going to leave at least a five centimetre gap or I think if we think it's about a centimetre, so at least a three centimetre gap. I'm going to start sewing out there, following my original sew line and I'm going to sew all the way around. Here goes, wish me luck people. Now the eagle eye amongst you will realise that I have forgotten to sew back, but I will do that at the end, which is what I've had to do every time I've done this. machines to move through my fabric that's been hemmed plus an elastic it's a bit much and yeah broken needles have occurred oh I can't wait to wait to use these <laughs> so you can see my marker coming up that's where I'm going to stop sewing like saying that can you tell i'm just going to keep my finger there so 
backstitch it as much as I can. filter in there i'm i'm not um saying a filter need is needed but i don't know what you'd use as a filter anyway a piece of tissue or something and um, i'm sure i don't want vacuum bags too near my face bedding's quite good isn't it? especially when you're doing the back side or something so um yeah very happy with those i'd also like to say an absolute massive shout out to Eamon for helping me with threading the darn machine um, and also with fiona who is not only my childminder but is just simply fantastic at anything craft like now if i can make these masks you definitely can because can barely sew on a button so I'm really really happy to have been able to bring you this and um, so thumbs up for me because I feel brilliant and I now have got three more masks to wear at the Disney parks and um, I've got other Spider-Man ones as well so Spidey and Spidey and then I've got Spidey and Blue um, and I've got this beautiful if you want here if you goofy I'm going to make a Peter Pan one, I think, but I need some material. Snow White, who I am bounding as when we go, so I'm really happy. So I'm going to do Peter Pan, Jenny's going to do Tinkerbell, I'm going to do Snow White, she's going to do Evil Queen. So, fantastic making all these plans. Um, that's it for me. It'll be way in tomorrow. So, God bless, and I'll see you all later. Bye.